drive the invader from our soil. My God, is that all? Mr. President? It was my understanding, Mr. Seward, that Meade was supposed to destroy Lee's army, not just drive them back to Virginia. Mr. President, our casualties have been extensive. The army has performed as well as they were able. I have no doubt of that, Mr. Seward, no doubt at all. However, driving the invaders from our soil is no reason for rejoicing on Meade's part. Southern men are flocking to Lee's army, while many of our men seem to be retiring. No, oh, gentlemen, this is no time for rejoicing. Not yet. I agree with you, Mr. President. We must not lose perspective in the matter. However, we must allow our men some satisfaction. Otherwise, they could lose heart and hope. And what is an army without hope? An army without hope is no army. Only a band of condemned men. Yes, of course, you're right, Mr. Stanton. Allow them their moment of glory. But let us not allow the illustrious General Lee to catch us with our backs turned, nor our heads in the clouds. When the smoke had cleared, there were 23,000 Union, 28,000 Confederate casualties. This included those soldiers killed, injured, or missing at Gettysburg. The battlefield was by far bloodiest of the war. However, the battle marked the war's turning point. And on that very day, on July 4th, General Grant's army captured Vicksburg, and slowly the Union began to tighten the noose around the Confederacy. <laughs> 